So while the last couple of weekends have been dominated by Deadpool and Wolverine at the box office, we've got a new movie that's being released this weekend based on a video game, Borderlands, starring Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Jamie Lee Curtis, just to name a few. Again, based on the video game Borderlands, which I think I played a number of years ago. But unlike Deadpool and Wolverine, which has a critic score uh, somewhere in the, I want to say, upper 70, lower 80% range on Rotten Tomatoes. In fact, I'm going to check it out here real quick just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, 78% Rotten Tomatoes for Deadpool and Wolverine. That's the critics. The audience is at 96%. Well, the embargo for reviews for Borderlands ended today. And <laughs> just got to say, according to this article here, on comicbookmovie.com, Borderlands reviews tear into catastrophic disappointment as movie hits Rotten Tomatoes with a 0% score. Ouch. For a movie that has Kate Blanchett, and Jamie Lee Curtis, and Kevin Hart, 0%? Now, if you look at Rotten Tomatoes right now, it's sitting at 3% for all critics. Top critics, it's at 0 <laughs> <laughs> review bombing anyone anyone review bombing or does that only happen with uh, a disney movie when disney movies score horribly on rotten tomatoes just saying so the first wave of reviews for borderlands are in hollywood reporter review it's inconceivable that longtime fans of the video game might get more out of borderlands but i wouldn't count on it at one point, Claptrap returns to operational mode after a heavy weaponry assault and says, I blacked out. Did something important happen? Well, not in this movie. Uh, Empires. Empires 2. A botched Guardians wannabe that isn't half as fun as you'd hope from the punky sci-fi promise of its video game source material and the presence of Blanchett at the top of the cast list. Total Films Awards, the same score, and concludes the Gearbox title Gamers Loved has spawned a frenetic and disorderly shambles. They're likely are too loathe. Claptrap, you said it. Now, I will say this. When I first saw the trailer, when it came out, oh, was it late spring when the trailer first hit? Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. I might be wrong on that time frame, but I do remember when the first when I first saw the trailer, first thing that popped in my head was they're going for a Guardians vibe. They're trying to recreate or replicate the Guardians of the Galaxy. And I it, sorry, you can't do it with a video game adaptation like Borderlands. It and to say Eli Roth, who's directing this movie, he's just out of this. He, he, this isn't his forte. Comedy and blow him up action are not his forte. And it shows in Borderlands. Uh, IGN was no more forgiving with a 3 out of 10 rating. Borderlands is a catastrophic disappointment that plays like hack to pieces studio slop. Betraying everything fans adore about Gearbox Software's franchise in derivative, regrettable taste. Have another two score from Digital Spy. Borderlands feels like it could have been an outrageous, bombastic romp. Instead, it's more of a trudge through a noisy desert with some cosplayers. Ouch. The semi-sanitation suggests Roth was not the right person to make with Lionsgate or even what he ultimately wanted. IndieWire writes, if granted permission to bring his signature sadism to these infamous, infamously 
batshit characters, Roth could have delivered his Mad Max Fury Road. Instead, restricted by standards that seem equally unlikely to please preteens, he was left holding a bomb. GameSpot calls Borderlands unremarkable. Uh, pu push Square dubbing it really bland and narratively limp. BG247 delivers the ultimate insult with a one-star review and a comment that Borderlands movie exists simply to exist. Ouch. So needless to say, Borderlands, if this is any indication, word of mouth is not going to be good. Um, it, it's just, I might go see it just because of how bad people say it is. I mean, I'm not adverse to going to see a movie that's bad. I remember years ago, I went and saw Hot Rod. I was one of three people in the theater. It was really bad. So just because this got zero on Rotten Tomatoes or right now sitting at 3% doesn't mean I won't go see it on a Saturday or Sunday matinee just to see, you know, how bad it really is. So there you have it. Borderlands. Not doing too well as, as far as Rotten Tomatoes goes. Um, now on the flip side, just as an aside, Deadpool and Wolverine currently it's sitting in 903 million at the box office. If it has another big weekend, which fingers crossed it does, we may see it cross a billion dollars at the box office come Monday. So there you have it. Borderlands. You going to see it comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Those two things really help out the channel and help support me and what I'm doing. Um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.